Yeah, my hair might be a little too long to try and comb again. Fuck it, we'll rock the poodle hair for the video. Also, I apologize for the, the lighting. I had my window open. I was trying to let some natural light come through. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just really fucking bright outside. It is a nice sunny day and I'm a bit too lazy to close it. But if you guys are new here, feel free to go on and hit that subscribe button. We upload every other day for you. But anyways, recently on YouTube, uh, you've been popping up with my sub boxes. I've seen them being talked about by a lot of different people. But there's this uh, new Akkad YouTuber that's been popping up all over YouTube recently. His name's Feudives. Now, I haven't really watched a whole lot. I think I watched like maybe one or two of his videos. And I mean, they're mainly just like gameplay with some commentary and stuff like that. Not a whole lot of cutting not a whole lot of editing or cropping or anything like that that I normally would do. You know, not that that's bad or anything. I'm not talking trash or anything like that. You know, everyone's got different types of videos, different editing styles and stuff like that. You know, that's just what he does. But you know, normally when somebody would blow up on YouTube, you'd sit there thinking, man, they're probably really funny or they have really good commentary or they got really good editing. Feud is though, he's more, you know, gameplay oriented. You know, he's a really, he's a pretty good Call of Duty player. He's really good. He's good in multiplayer. He plays a lot of SND. He's really good in Warzone. You know, I guess, I mean, you know, yeah, that's probably his main thing. You know, he's just really good at the video game. So, you know, people like to see that. But the thing that I've, I've been wondering recently, and I'm, I would probably assume quite a few other people have been wondering recently as well, is why is it him that blew up insane by just pretty much being good at the video game? You know, there's a whole mess of people that are really, really good at Call of Duty that probably also make content, posting their gameplays and all this other stuff. So my question recently has just been, why was it him that blew up? Why wasn't it, you know, somebody else that was really good at the game or maybe even better, or, you know, maybe who even knows, maybe even like does a whole bunch of stuff with editing and all this other stuff, maybe. You know, why was it his videos that blew up insanely, you know, within a month? month. I can't keep looking at my stupid ass fucking hair. I'm putting a hat on. I'm sorry. But you know, normally when you look at somebody who, you know, blows up on YouTube that quickly, they normally have something, you know, other than just gameplay going for him, which I mean, he, he kind of does. You know, he'll sit there playing with his friends and all this. They'll make some jokes here and there, you know, and obviously again, they're just really good at the game. They're posting all their highlights. But when you look at, you know, how big he actually grew and how fast, you know, why don't, you know, you got to kind of look and be like, why is it, you know, him the one that blew up? Why not, you know, why couldn't it have been somebody else who's, you know, really good at Call of Duty like a uh, Syrian or somebody else? I mean, and yeah, Syrian's already, you know, somewhat of a, a big stream. He's not like a huge streamer or anything like that, you know. But if you were to look at his following compared to Feudives, you know, it, Feudives is massively bigger within such a shorter amount of time. Okay, so I figured out that if you just throw a smoke down and then come and sit right here, no one ever sees you, especially when they're looking through thermal sights. Like, <laughs> look at this shit, dude. They just don't notice that you're there. It's hilarious. Hey, look at that, a quad feed. I remember actually sitting here yesterday just dying over and over to somebody. I had no idea how I was dying. This house? I mean, look, that guy didn't even- he was sitting there crouching around the corner. He didn't see me for the longest time. I mean, you know, it kind of takes away from uh, getting the mounted kills done with the long shots. But, I mean, honestly, it's worth it to get this amount of long shots. I mean, the file is the only gun I have left, actually, four long shots. I just went and finished out all the other weapons, and then I'll actually get them gold. <laughs> Shit is so stupid. Dude, are you kidding? Are you serious? Even right here, I'm right next to them, and they can't see me. Nope, oh, someone finally figured it out. They got me. I got caught reloading, too. But, you know, I decided to go look. I was like, there's got to be a little bit more to, you know, Futif blowing up as big as he did, apart from, you know, just his gameplay and, you know, him and his friends, and, you know, just having a good time making their videos. I keep saying them, like, with him and his friends as if they're all making videos. I don't know if anybody else is. I know Futif mainly, you know, is just him. He's the one guy. He just, you know, plays the game with his friends. But I ended up taking a look at his channel and a few of the stats and all this stuff, and I ended up looking at the at when he actually blew up and, you know, what videos he was posting at that time. And honestly, it was really just just uh, one main video that got him blown up. I mean, the, the previous two videos that he had uploaded at the time definitely helped. They're the main reason. I mean, I would say that it's really they all three of those videos complement each other and why he got so big so fast. But right before he blew up, he had the first two Valorant videos. Uh, the best sight lines on Haven and how to jump higher is Jet. Now, obviously, you know, he posts Call of Duty right now. That's what he's known for is, you know, just being a really good COD player. And it's already going down. And look, there's my Javelin rocket coming down about... And are you fucking serious? But those two videos, he first uploaded them. They're his first two uploads ever. Now, I don't know if he had had videos, you know, way back in the day, you know, or something just deleted them. I mean, I know people that have done that before where they made their YouTube channel like, man, I'm going to do this. And then they end up not doing it. And then they just delete all their videos in hopes that no one ever sees them again because they're pretty embarrassing, honestly. I mean, hey, even I have some unlisted videos that I would not want you guys seeing. But those two videos, you know, he first First uploaded them throughout the first few days they didn't do you know insanely well they you know sitting around like my videos would you know 10 to 20 views but you know with it being a tutorial video you know people will see them 
they'll click on them. Maybe a little search he made might pop up and you know search stuff. You know, it, it's YouTube. It's an algorithm. And it's basically just a search engine. But after after about a week or so, they finally you know they started getting traction. People were clicking on those two tutorial videos. They ended up getting like uh, 700 plus views. So you know with his videos starting to do a bit better, you know YouTube's like, hey, people are watching this. They're searching for it. Let's you know put it on the home page for people. Let's have people you know let's let's show this video to other people. So you can see a trend you know in his stats where that starts happening. His videos kind of start going up from there. But then then he uploads a video video that literally because it was right after those other two videos that started getting put in recommended YouTube's gonna put that one in record well for him you know it's not gonna you know if it doesn't do well instantly though obviously YouTube's gonna stop pushing it out but they put the video out in you know browse features which is basically you know your home page your for you page and all that stuff and good thing he actually put that video there because if he doesn't put this video up within you know a reasonable amount of time to those other videos this video maybe doesn't get recommended. Maybe people don't click on it as much because they're not seeing it. But that video right now is his I Dropped a Nuke in Search and Destroy or something like that. That's the title. It's not here. Let me look it up. I Dropped a Nuke in Search and Destroy LOL. That video basically is the one that blew him up. It currently has 2.2 million views. And ladies and gentlemen, that is his third upload on his channel ever. The man has like 216,000 subscribers as of right now. But the main reason that video did so well is because, well, a, a pretty clickbaity title. Well, I don't know if it's clickbait or not. I, I haven't watched it personally. I don't know. I, I see it. I've watched a few of his videos, but for some reason, I haven't watched that one. I don't know how dropping a new in search and destroy would work. I don't know if you actually can or not. I'm sorry, guys. I'm throwing a smoke. I was complaining about it the other day. I just, I want to come lay down right here. What feed? But with those other two videos that he had put out, right, the Valorant videos, they did pretty well, you know, with them being tutorials, people are searching for that, people are going to see it, and they're going to want to figure something, you know, they want they want to get the edge on people, so they're going to click on it and learn how to be better at the game. But with those two videos doing well, YouTube's sitting here like, okay, hey, let's uh, put this guy's videos out on the browse page, see how they do. And then shortly after, he puts out that COD video, and with that title, people are going to be like, oh, how did someone drop a nuke in search and destroy? Let me figure that out. You know, it's information. That's what people want. That people want information on YouTube. That's what they're mainly here for, apart from entertainment. I remember seeing that video and only that video in my sub box day, like for like three, four days straight. I remember seeing it have like a hundred thousand something views. A few weeks later, it's currently sitting at 2.2 million. So basically at this point, you know, a lot of big people on YouTube, people that have been doing this for a long time, they know, yeah, it does, it, it's going to take a lot of work to, you know, grow a YouTube channel. It, it, it's, it's a hard, it's a grind pretty much. You're going to be doing it day after day if you truly want to grow and, you know, see actual, you know, results. But at the same time, a lot of big channels, they have, you know, some sort of luck involved. And right here, you, know, you can see a case. Yeah, he makes good content. I'm not trying to bash her. This is not like talking down to feuds or anything, okay? I'll probably watch a few of his videos later and actually check him out because I haven't given him like a good solid watch. Now, Realistically looking at it, you know, with how he grew, you can kind of tell, hey, these two videos did pretty well. They got put in browse features, and then he had a super I mean, a clickbaity type title. I don't know if it's actually clickbait. I should watch it. But it's not the first time I've seen, you know, the YouTube title of I've dropped the nuke in search and destroy. I've seen like one or two other, you know, recommended videos to me that have a similar title or something to do with dropping a nuke in search and destroy. But maybe it's possible. It honestly, actually, it, technically it is possible. It'd just be something that's, you know, very hard to do. But I'm going to go on ahead and assume that he wasn't sitting here like, I know exactly how the YouTube algorithm works. I'm going to put these two videos out and then put up a clickbaity video that's hopefully going to get put in recommended and then, you know, blow up that way. So you can, you can look at this and it's pretty easy to tell that, yeah, I'm, again, not bashing, but a lot of luck went into, you know, making this. And you know, it's, it's well-deserved though. He makes good content. I hope to see him, you know, grow and actually, you know, just perform well in the whole YouTube scene or anything like that. Or maybe streaming if he do, does that. I don't know. But you know, I'm happy for the guy, you know, Obviously a little jealous as well, you know, I've been making YouTube videos for a few years now I mean, they haven't been the best and I wasn't sitting here like yes I need to know how everything works how to grow insanely fast and you know pushing pushing hard hard pushing how to get bigger You know, I'm just doing this enjoying having a fun time But I do think uh, quite a bit of luck here was involved with you know How big he got how quickly he had the two tutorial videos that got the next video put into browse features at least a little bit And with it being the title that it was it got a whole messed shit ton of views I don't know I just figured I'd talk about it with you guys It's been something that I've been thinking about recently with, you know, just how did it actually happen? You know, why did it happen so quickly for him? But you can look at, you know, his YouTube stats on Social Blade and see, you know, just when it was he started actually gaining views and gaining traction. It was pretty much right after that video was posted. The Search and Destroy video. Like his videos before you can see where he's starting to get more views because those other videos, the tutorial videos on Valorant, they're starting to gain some traction. Then he puts out the next one. It gets put in recommended and it just blows up from there. I just thought I'd go on ahead and share thoughts with you guys. It's something that I've just been thinking about nonstop for a few days. Like, 
why him of all people just blow up out of nowhere? Again, not bashing, kind of jealous, but let's move on. But anyways, with this whole uh, Damascus grind thingy here, uh, I'm basically done. I got all the- I, I, what I decided to do was I went and I ranked up all the ARs. You can see down in the left, they're all max level. I basically did that right before all the double XP stuff ended. I was like, okay, we got double XP for like two days left. So I just got them all the max level so I can unlock the camo so it's not delayed any further. I, this FAL here was the last gun I needed long shots for. It's the most tedious challenge to do. I have to stay in shoot house. Now I could just run back into shipment and basically finish all these probably today. You know, with me getting these long shots, you know, obviously skull challenges are done for most of them. We got the mounted kills basically done. Quite a few headshots are done. Hip fire kills with the FAL, I think this is. Yeah, they're done. The RPG got uh, finished out here the other day. So that's done now. We just got the Joker. Few ARs to do with no long shots either. And then we're done. We got Damascus. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and leave the video there, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave me some thoughts down in the comments what you guys think. If you guys have watched Fugitives or, you know, know much about him, I'll probably go watch through a few of his videos later today. See if I enjoy it. I'll probably hit that subscribe button. I mean, the, the, the dude's pretty cool. From what I've seen from him anyways, I've watched a little bit of him. But I'll actually, you know, go through and give him, like, you know, a, a full watch through and all that stuff. Actually look and see who is this guy in his entirety and all that stuff. So hopefully he does do well, though. You know, I'm always rooting for people. You know, YouTube is something that can change people's lives. I mean, I know me personally. I don't want to have to, you know, grow up and work, you know, whatever job or anything like that. It's just, you know, I enjoy doing this. This is something that I would love to turn into my hobby, you know, making content for you guys, making people smile, help them get through their day. That's basically, you know, how it was for me watching YouTube when I was a little bit younger, you know, finding a whole bunch of YouTubers like, you know, I, they just make me feel better. You know, I get to sit here, watch them relax. And there's, I have no other care in the world. They help me get through my day and all the tough things in life. And I just want to be able to give back and do that for other people as well. But be sure to go on ahead down there, you know, hit that like button, leave comments for games you'd like to see me play. I take everybody's considerations down there. We uploaded a Fortnite video yesterday. I never thought I'd upload that game to my channel oh, again, but shit. someone asked for it and I was like, you know what? Yeah, I wonder what it's going to be like trying to play that game after months of not playing it. Be sure to support, hit the like button as well and subscribe if you guys haven't already, but I'm going to go on ahead and leave the video there. Be sure to check out a few here as well. I'll leave a link down to his channel in the description. But uh, yeah, peace. I'll be going to the coffin I'll be going and I'm stopping I'll be going way too often Wish I wasn't chosen Running from my yeoman's I've been on the east side That's